on today's churchtechcast.com screencast show using the masks for environmental projection in ProPresenter 5. to another episode of the churchtechcast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week we talk about using software in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford and I'm your host. I'd love for you to ask your questions, by the way. So leave those right below the video, whether you're watching this on YouTube or on trinitydigitalmedia.com. If not, if you're more of an email person, just drop me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, or hit me up on Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P A U L A L A N C L I F. So today's topic comes from someone who was trying to use both masks and props to do some masking. He was doing environmental projection and Sometimes he wanted it on in certain areas, and sometimes he didn't. So he ran into an issue when he upgraded his license to enable lyrics in multiple places. So I thought we would take a look at what I think he was trying to do. Um, I couldn't find the thread after I found it initially, and a way to add and remove certain pieces of a mask without adding or removing the whole thing. So let's head on over to ProPresenter 5. So here we are back in ProPresenter 5 and there's a feature of the mask layer that I wanted to show off. I got in a discussion last week with someone who was really upset because he needed to use multiple masks and he was using a triple head to go and doing a few things. I don't know if this will actually solve his problem but I thought it was at least an interesting piece of information. If you had assumed that a mask was just one thing and you either had it on or you had it off and those were your choices. It's actually not quite that way. So let's go into the mask layer and you'll notice first off that I have two masks here. That's an important piece of the puzzle. You'll also notice that I've adjusted the transition time down here. So if I put it on zero that mask will just pop in and when I click clear mask it'll pop out. But I can change that to say 1.5 seconds and when I do that it slowly dissolves in and clear mask makes it slowly dissolve out. That's good stuff. But let's take a look at editing a mask. So I go here and the first thing I want you to notice that I've done here is this mask is made up of the PNG file that I made in Photoshop along with another PNG file that's my logo and some text. So I can actually have several elements on the screen at one time. And I'm not limited to just images and text, although I can think of good reasons to use those. I can actually add a rectangle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a rectangle right in this spot here. And let's imagine that this is a, uh, this is where a big screen is and I'm using this for environmental projection or something like that. So since I'm using the exact same mask over here that I created in Photoshop, and they're placed in exactly the same spot. So if I go over here 
to this layer and make sure that I select that. And then I believe it is over here. Yeah. Then I've got the XY coordinates and I've got the width and height coordinates since this display is a 720p display. That's why I've chosen those. The angle is set the same. So I could potentially, let's say that I needed this to be 15 degrees. Well, that's not going to be the same as this, but I can take this and I can make it 15 degrees as well. And I can also rotate this 15 degrees so that it matches up. So I want to select that layer, which is this guy up here. And I go back over here and 15 degrees. So I would need to monkey with this a bit to make it all match up. But I have some more flexibility than uh, what we've dealt with in the past. So I'm going to, and I want select this other mask here and turn it back to zero degrees. So you really have the ability to tweak each of these as you need them and then match them up. This is the important part in ProPresenter so that you can in effect mask and unmask things at will. So let's close this out and we'll open the mask dialog again. And so let's start with this and this cross dissolves in or it could just cut in if I lowered this and you'll see that I have this masked off but this over here is free and open now if I click on this one guess what happens cross dissolves in this mask so it's closed off so I don't need to go into the props layer to put thing layers of masks in and out I can do this all in the mask layer so for example, if I had a projector right now that was shooting in this area and I just wanted to shoot nothing at it, then I'm masking this off for environmental projection purposes. And then if I want to go back to letting that shine through, I can do that. And in effect, what that does is it only adds or takes away this piece right here. Now it also adds or takes away the other logo, but I didn't have to put that in itself. So really I have a lot more control here than would be immediately op uh, obvious that I can mask and unmask portions of it as well as clearing the mask for the whole thing. And my machine apparently doesn't like that because I'm also recording. So I hope that helps you in doing environmental projection with ProPresenter 5. Well, I hope that helped you. This is just one of the great features of ProPresenter, and it's why I'm such a big fan of it. If you like this content, don't hesitate to comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff below, or subscribe to my free email newsletter. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts and there you can get a free gift like my ProPresenter 5 top 5 tricks that I love to do and a free copy of my newsletter. Just go over there and give me a good email address for that. Don't give me the, the one you never check because you won't get free tips if you don't check it. See how that works? And uh, we can go from there. Till next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.